Hello everybody, Sir Monkey UT out back again for my Hero Academia because it's Saturday uh, and we're on episode 11 now. Fucking last episode was top notch. It actually is my second favourite episode, period, uh, behind season 2, uh, episode 24. Um, it was a very quality, well written episode. Um, generally because, you know, you could see the perspective of of, um, of either All for One or All Might. Um, you know, both in their own mind, thinking they're doing like you know the the right thing. Um, you know what I mean, and and doing and doing uh, bits for their uh, for their younglings essentially. Um, you know, all for one. There was a lot of sort of I don't even know if heroic is the right word, but it, but you know, in terms of like you know saving. Like saving his um, underlings in that regard, like that's what he was doing. You know what I mean? He was keeping them out of harm's way and whatnot, um, while he would take the brunt of the force. Obviously, um, you know what I mean. He's not at a hundred percent, mind you. Neither is All Might. So, you know. Um, but that being said, like All Might has backup, whereas uh, All For One does not. Um, so. Is he sacrificing himself, maybe? I don't know. Um, but we'll have to see. Um, yeah, so last episode, Best Genus actually got shot through the fucking sternum, and I don't know if he's dead or not. Um, you know, generally with showing an anime like this, you're not going to get much in the way of death. Um, you know, to me, he seems rather fucked up. Um, and honestly, I think, it, it, like, I don't know. For the story, Best Genus isn't exactly a big part of it. To let him die wouldn't be that big a loss. Um, you know what I mean? I think. You know what I mean? You've got to have stakes in in uh, in these stories. You know what I mean? Otherwise, it just you know, it means nothing. Um, and with all, like all for one being like the most powerful there is um, on the villain side, like I would imagine. You know what I mean? You've got to let him sort of flourish in that regard and actually be able to kill people you know what i mean because it just it just has to happen that way man um yeah so there was uh, a lot of like individual focused uh you know what i mean things from the past that they're bringing up continuity and all that stuff with obviously with momo and ida and whatnot and their past like, like experience like uh their past like troubles and things whatnot like coming back um you know what I mean? Ideals meshing with like, oh, what do we do now kind of thing. All the pressure building on them because all for one and basically, you know what I mean, caused havoc. Um, and all that. The fucking, the, the bloody rescue, fucking incredible. Was It was like one of my favourite scenes. <laughs> one of my favourite scenes, like, of this show, man. Like, it was just so cool. You know what I mean? I, I'm like... I just, I just want more fucking Kirishima, man. I just want more. I just want more of him and Batgo, man. And I just want life to be cool for those guys. Because uh, I fucking love them. Um, yeah. And uh, also, like, you know what I mean? We had some really cool stuff with, like, All for One, like, mocking fucking uh, All Might with the I am here and whatnot. And uh, it's all great. You know what I mean? We had the. Obviously, the queue that. Um, that uh, uh, Raki is not like that's just a, a facade name. He's actually Tenko Shimura. Um, so in some case, he is a relative to the seventh holder of One for All. Um, it kind of leads my theory to believe that you know, um, like that All for One killed them off and then took Shigaraki under his wing. Um, and then we had the great fucking, like, the Magna, uh, like, quirk description thing, in which case um, you can separate, like, items and people into magnets, essentially. However, women are always north and the men, like, the males are always south. But he can't do it on himself. <laughs> Because I think, because he's transgender, <coughs> and he can't do it on himself. Um, you know what I mean? And it's made a good point is that like uh, during that fight when Tiger was there, you never used that on him either. He was also transgender, so 
I, j I just I find it funny. <laughs> I just find it great. Um, it's very funny, very interesting. I love it. All right, so that is all I have got to talk about on the uh, on episode ten. It was a great episode. Love it. I'm expecting um, this to be another heavy hitting one because we are still in the midst of this fight with All Might and All for One. And now there is nobody in their way. They are free to kind of go a bit more all out, should we say, I think. So, although there are still people in the city, so we'll have to see. Um, but anyway, yeah, this episode this episode is called One for All. So, <laughs> Christ. <sighs> Let's go. Oh, man. That got me so hard. Like, tell them it's now your turn, man. <sighs> this show is just... This show is just so deep rooted in emotion. I just I can't like I I can't explain it man, like the fucking Christ. Can't believe that's his last that's it. There's just so much, there's so much power, like, I, oh, man. Um. Alright, I guess we'll start from the, from the, from the beginning. So, Nana Shimura, we, um. She's a woman, um, which was kind of confirmed. I was, I wasn't, spe I wasn't specifically sure, um, but it was confirmed. Um, so she's, uh, she's Shigaraki's grandmother. Um, which is. Just something like it's. Uh, I, uh. Well, it's got to be so tough, man, for all my. Because it's just like you know what I mean. Because everything running through his head, he's got to think like he's like he's failed and he's. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like rather dejected about stuff like that. Um. I love how the symbol of peace, like mantra, and like that, like that term was literally all like. Those are all Might's words. Like that, that was him. Like it wasn't passed down or anything. Like that was him. Like that was his thing. <clears throat> um. And the, the, like, there is just so, like, when uh, All Might and, like, you know, previous episodes have, like, s has said, like, you know what I mean, he sees so much of, sees so much of Deku in himself, you know what I mean, and, like, it's, like, it's so obvious when you, when you see him in the flashbacks and stuff. You know what I mean? All about wanting to be the greatest hero, you know what I mean? And I think, um, It's interesting the when
when they went to um, doing like when they were doing the intern stuff, Gran Torino was telling Deku that like your admiration for All Might is like a shackle. Um, you know what I mean? Like you think of him as like a god, um, <clears throat> and it makes sense when when All Might was young and he was quirkless and he was talking to to Nana Shimura. Um, he was saying, you know what I mean? I want to be the symbol of peace. I want to be, you know what I mean? I want to be the person that everyone looks to. <laughs> it's like a pillar. But you know what one said, you know what I mean? I want to be like, I want to be like you. No, I'm not sure my dad, but you know what I mean? I want to be what you, I wonder what her, uh, like, hero name was then. Because I don't think we got that, did we? Um, but yeah, like, you know what I mean? While All Might was saying all of that, Deku's like, he's being like, you know what I mean? I want to be like All Might instead. And I think it's, you know what I mean? There's, there's a, there's a point in which Deku needs to learn to be him, like, be himself. And, you know what I mean? Kind of be his own hero, so, so to speak. Um, and we've got some clear cut, um, you know, confirmation about, like, when All Might fought All for One the first time, um, in which case he got agitated. Um, uh, and because of that he got distracted and allowed uh, all for one to create that uh, injury um, which is interesting because it's not something that um, that uh, we've noticed a lot is like him getting really like agitated so obviously it's clearly like all for one's the one that can get under his skin um, and obviously it doesn't help with the fact that he killed uh, his mental. Um, I was wondering as well because Aizawa showed up like for one scene, and I was I was wondering like, well, what if Aizawa was there? Would like if he was to can would he be able to cancel all the quirks? You know what I mean? That's just an interesting little thing I had because, he, like you know, this show with quirks and stuff have like certain um, like limits or um, like interesting ways the quirks work and stuff so I was wondering if it was like if he was to um, if he was to cancel out all for ones like would it be a case of he would cancel the all for one um, in which case he would lose everything or would it specifically focus on the quirks that he's gathered and like kind of you could only maybe um, cancel one out of the lot. It's just an interesting thing. I think I just wonder. Um, you know what I mean? Because it, like it's just it could have come real fucking handy there. Um, yeah. Of course, like the general public now like knows about All Might and um, you know what I mean. His uh, his sort of weaker form. Um, And whatnot. I love how he, um, how even though like he fought that entire fight, like not in his, like not in his, uh, he's like not in his all might form. Um, he was just, he was fighting like Deku fight, like fought for like the first, like season and a half where he would break but where it basically instead of it flowing throughout his entire body he would like focus all the energy in one specific body part um and i love that i love that idea like it's it it's so like you know ever since the start when you had um, when you had, uh, you know, basically All Might was like, you know, what I mean? he was, he was, he was, he was sort of teaching Deku the idea that, you know, what I mean, oh, you're supposed to feel it throughout your entire body, and you know, like you're 
I'm not supposed to feel like you know use it as like 100 percent the whole time but um you know what i mean it's almost like while deku was working away from that it's almost it's sort of like it's so interesting and symbolic the idea that all might was going the opposite way um like he had to he, he had to do um what they said not to do like use it recklessly in order to overcome um and i think the overlight like the overlining sort of the overlying sort of uh like sim like the whole idea behind that i think is the idea that because all might is getting weaker and weaker by like the day kind of thing like it's almost like him reverting back you know what i mean like uh almost like if deku went in reverse you know what i mean you get weaker and weaker and then all of a sudden you would have to like if it was like playing in reverse you would have to like you would go back to using 100 percent in one arm and whatnot and turning it on like a switch instead of feeling it throughout his entire body um <clears throat> and it's great man it's great that that like that relationship is one of the best things about the show is Deku and all might like you know what i mean that sort of like that master apprentice type thing and um it's nice that we've got to see like a little bit of um all might with his master um and i think the biggest the most powerful line well, that aside from like, now it's your turn, um, was when he went for the punch, and he uh, and he said he specifically said like, um, I will not give in, not because I am the symbol of peace, but because I have to for my master. I have to for my master and I have to do it for the for the future with Midoriya as well because normally like normally in that situation he would say because I am the symbol of peace and justice and you know what I mean and, and that would that'll be that but I think in the first you know almost like because the idea of like I am the symbol of peace and justice like is never really a self it's not a selfish thing but, you know, when you're saying that, like, I am the symbol of peace and justice, this whole show is the idea that, you know what I mean, you have to believe, like, you you have to, basically, you have to be, like, sort of, uh, in a way, selfish to be at the top. Or you need to be, like, you know, um, you need to basically be egotistical to the idea of, of being on top. Um, you know what I mean? And you have to basically pronounce, like, announce yourself to the world as you are the number one and that's it. And I think every time he says that, like, I am the symbol of peace and justice, that's just another, that's just him furthering that announcement. And um, I think this was the one time, and it says a lot, the fact that this is his last, this is his last time as this, as this, like, sort of, like, symbol of peace and justice. And the last time he never said that I am the symbol of peace and justice, he said he was doing it for his master, and he was doing it for the future in Deku as well. Like, I just think, you know, it, it's the, per like, it's almost like the perfect sort of send-off that he could have. Um, you know what I mean that that's not his death obviously but you know it's just like kind of I think it just says a lot that like when in every other situation he would say that I, I'm doing this because I am a symbol of peace and justice and therefore I have to do it like you know what I mean that is what I am I, that is what I do and um, and then this last this last one it wasn't about that it was about it was about the others that he cared for and I think that's just that just says so much you know um, I love the, you know, the, um, like, Bakugo, he's sort of a second, like, a second protagonist, like, a, um, you know, like, obviously, going into this show, you're like, Midoriya, here. Yeah. He's the he's the he's the he's the main protagonist. That's what he is, and um, you have the other characters around him, um, and then obviously got All Might as like the the mental role in there. Um, but like you know, con consistently like from the start, Bakugo and Deku are like 
going along this 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 like story like together and if you look at it from backwards or decos you're getting like a different sort of um perspective again like that thing with all might and all, all, all for one and um you know and uh, throughout the show it's it's consistently been there that sort of um that uh that rivalry with back go um you know what i mean that back and forth but at the end of the day when it all comes like down to like these kind of moments all for ones literally his last job ever and you've got deco uh, and i was going to say deco there <laughs> deco and back go like both you know what i mean like it's, it's specifically pointing them out both watching all might because though like that is their he that's their hero um you know what i mean they are the reason they are wanting to be the best is because of all might um and that's the that's the main thing that those two characters share is like that is that love of all might and um it's great um i love it the last thing I'm going to talk about is um, is when is when Nana was uh, explaining to um, All Might in the flashback. Is uh, he was like she was saying, look, uh, being a hero isn't just about saving people, um, like saving people like physically, you know what I mean, saving their lives, but it's about saving a person's heart too. And I think um, you know that really harkens back to um, to to what Deku does. Um, a lot of his like basically from the very start, before you even got the one for um, Quirk, the first thing like he ever did was inspire um, All Might's. Uh, inspire all might to to go further and go beyond to actually save somebody and i think at that point in time all might's heart wasn't particularly in the right place and i think he saved uh, all might's heart then um obviously you know he's uh he saved uh todoroki is the big one um you know what i mean to, like literally it was, it's never about deku in that regard and that you know It's an interesting sort of concept, the idea that, you know, in this world, being a hero to be number one, you have to selfishly, like, announce yourself as the number one hero. And yet, Deku is, the, is like, the as the main protagonist, is never really like that. He's, so, he's um, you know what I mean, he, he recklessly puts himself in harm's way all the time. Um... without any regard for himself um he's the he's, he's the true like you know what i mean he is the true uh like hero like that that ideal hero that um you know what i mean always puts everybody before himself um you know what i mean i just i just like that 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 continuously just passes down from like this generation to generation of of uh of one for all users like the same heart it just it, it it's you know i think it's it, it's it almost works like a destiny kind of thing in that way um you know what i mean it was fate kind of thing that deku would have one for all because they like it seems seemingly all of the previous one for all holders have the same mentality and they, they think the same way um so it's great. I think uh, you know this show is something special. Um, this show gives me like brings out emotions in me that I just I don't usually I I just don't have. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it, it's crazy. Um, I just I love this show to bits. It's it's really it's something special. And honestly, I am so fucking happy I decided to to like react to this just to have. I mean, I, I literally have, from the very beginning, my my like initial reaction to this show, and I couldn't be fucking any happier because I I like 
I can, I can, you know, I, I can never lose that now. Like, I have that. You know what I mean? I have it and I can literally, I can go back and I watch it and I can, I can enjoy it like, you know what I mean? Like, this was how I was feeling when I was watching this show. Which is not a lot of, you know, I would love to have had the, like, have the things filmed when I was a little kid and I was watching things when I was watching shows back then. You know what I mean? Because that's just, it's the same feeling that that this show instills in me is something that you know what I mean so like nostalgic. Except I am like it's not it's not nostalgia because I literally here watching it now, and it's great. Honestly, the fucking absolutely amazing, absolutely love this show. So yeah, that's all I've got. So thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.